Hello, my loves. Welcome to your collective reading. So for those of you who do not know what a collective reading is, um, it's basically a reading that resonates with a certain group of people, okay? Um, if this reading should not resonate with you, you could always go to the description box below. My playlist for timeless collective readings um, is there, so you can uh, dip in and see if there is another uh, reading that would resonate better with you, okay? Um, these are timeless, so whenever you come across this reading is when you're meant to see it okay uh don't forget to like share comment and subscribe so let's go ahead and get started here guys holy spirit angel spirits and guides what clarity and guidance do we have for the collective please spirit what love messages what advice what clarity and guidance do we have today for the collective please holy spirit angel spirits and guides what love messages do we have for the collective today please spirit all right my loves so Let's go ahead and get into your pre-shuffle message. So let me start off by saying someone is freaking badass. Someone is so mad, okay? They are mad. They are jealous. They are just, this is not a pleasant energy. So this could be you guys, you know, listen, it could, it could work either way. This could be you. This could be your person. This could be a third party. I don't know. You know, it, it, what, someone here, though, is not a... Uh, not happy. Let's just put it that way. Someone here is really not happy. Um, I feel like someone here just was, it was a sense of not being chosen. It was a sense of finding out that you lost to somebody or something. And what's worse is this person has something that you don't have, like um, money or looks stability peace I, I don't know maybe they're a public figure i don't know this person has something that the person that's mad doesn't have so you know if you're the one who's upset you're realizing that your person went off with somebody um you know possibly better looking or you know that maybe has a better job or a nicer car or, or i don't know like anything you know what i'm saying whatever it is it's it's they're on a higher level than you, okay? And that's what makes it worse. Now, this could be that you were chosen and, and you know, a third party is upset because, you know, they can't reach your level. It, we The world just popped out. Um, you know, this person could be really, really, you know, upset because they can't reach your level. Or you could be the person that upgraded and, and chose someone else. You know what I'm saying? You're, you could be the one... Um, dealing with somebody who is upset because you're doing better or you moved on to somebody better okay so you take that as it resonates and see where you know where you fit into all of this okay these readings are general so you could be on any side here you could be the person that's mad the person that you know moved on to someone better you could be the person who is but i don't know you know and i hate to say it that way someone better um, that's a really ugly way to put it, but that's how this person feels. This person that's upset, there's jealousy, there's envy, there's just a lot of bitterness there because this person, like not only have they not been chosen, but it's like a, a sense of like, I can't compete with that type of energy. You know what I'm saying? All right. So let's see what we have under the deck here, guys. So we have the sun. Leo energy. Okay. So something here may be coming to light. A truth may be getting revealed. You may be realizing something or acknowledging something. Um, now this is generally a card of happiness. Okay. So let's see what we have here, um, for the overall message. Um, yeah, and I feel that whoever made this decision, it's like a final decision, okay? It could be that they went back and reconciled with somebody or a final decision. So we've got rest and rejuvenation here, which for me is kind of like a four of swords type of card and healer. So someone here um, is taking the time out to heal from a situation. Let's see what we have here. Spirit, what messages do we have for the collective, please, Spirit? Awakening. Somebody here is finding something out. See, because that sun card and that awakening card, um, and we have romance under the deck. Somebody here may be finding out about a relationship, okay? Um, this could be a sense of, like, you and your person separated, and you kind of thought that you would always, you know, you always thought it would come back together, and you would reconcile, and you're starting to find out now that they are with someone else. It's it's finding something out. You're awakening to a, to a truth, and, you know, whoever here is finding out the truth, it's going to knock their socks off. Like, this person is going to have to take a moment to recover, okay, and heal from it. 
So here we have worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. So the person here, there's someone here that was waiting for this to come back together. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. So I feel that this could be one of two things. This could be either the person that has moved on, uh, waited for, you know, somebody that they considered the right person for them and they moved on to new love. Or this could be that, you know, someone here was waiting to rekindle a romance. Now here we have let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others. And we have stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Okay, so let's see what we have going on here, guys. So the first card out, we have the Three of Swords. So someone here was obviously heartbroken, um, and maybe they were waiting to reconcile, or this could be an indication that, you know, there was a third party that came in, um, and the person that's choosing the third party felt like this is the person that was meant for them. We've got the Moon card here, um, Cancer, Piscean Energy, and we have the Star, Aquarian Energy. So I feel like on one sense, someone's intuition may have been telling them that there was going to be healing, okay, like it would come together again. Um, on another sense, I'm feeling here that, you know, uh, in another scenario, I guess I should say, I'm feeling that somebody here um, was, you know, had a third party waiting on the side, somebody that they felt was <clears throat> more their wish fulfillment here. Um, new love, we've got um, the High Priestess. Cancer, Piscean energy. We've got the Six of Pentacles. And the Five of Pentacles. Yeah. So what I'm getting here is definitely that someone here, you know, had a third party. Someone here had a third party and they felt this third party was kind of maybe waiting on the side, waiting for um, this person to release you or you were the one waiting for somebody to release a third party. Um yeah, but, the, the, you know, someone here sees and see with this star card, this person could be a public figure, um, a healer, a light worker, a nurse, you know, whatever it is, they're praised for what they do. OK, they, you know what I'm saying? They're praised for what they do. Um, and that where that's where that intimidation may come in for whoever's, you know, feeling jealous or upset here. Um, let your friends help you. We have the three of wands. So I'm getting here that somebody may be asking friends or family members what that person is up to. Do you see what I'm saying? They're asking friends and family members what the person is up to here. We've got an Empress, Aries, Taurus, Libra, Cancerian energy. Somebody here may be talking to somebody's mother. And with the Five of Swords here, I feel like the information that they're getting is someone here has walked away from the situation. Someone here uh, is, you know, has been <coughs> has been defeated. Or, or what I'm feeling here is that news is coming in. Hold on, guys. I'm like choking. Give me a second. I'm so sorry about that. Or there could be news coming in from friends or family here, um, and you're finding out that somebody here is with an empress, okay? Um, and with that five of swords, you're feeling a little defeated here, or someone here is finding out that, you know, somebody has chosen you, you are the empress, they are feeling a little defeated here, Um with temperance here, Sagittarian energy, somebody is needing to heal from this. They're needing to heal from really acknowledging that someone here is walking away. Um, with the Six of Wands here, I feel that this is a sense of, you know, ego. I feel like somebody here was optimistic that they were going to win, and they're realizing now that this person has truly walked away from them. So let's go ahead and um, let's go ahead and clarify here, Spirit. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have for the collective? Tell me about this three of swords, please. So six of swords. Yeah. So someone here is walking away. The six of swords talks about getting in that boat, leaving, going to more peaceful waters. Someone here may be going towards a third party with the moon and the hermit Virgo energy. Um, I feel that somebody here is withdrawing. They've, they've figured out what they wanted to do. And, um, yeah, some of you may not know why when it actually happens, but then you'll realize why later. Tell me about the star card, the five of cups. Okay, the five of cups. So I feel like this person, maybe uh, they might feel guilty. Um, or what I'm really feeling is that when somebody sees 
the person that this person has moved on with, with that five of cups, it, there's going to be a level of disappointment or mourning, like all is lost type of feeling. Tell me about the high priestess, page of pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. Tell me about this page of pentacles, the moon, Cancer, Piscean energy. So I feel like in secret, somebody here was offered something. Tell me about the six of pentacles, the, the eight of pentacles. Yes, yeah, someone here went to go work on something. Um, with someone else. Yes, yeah, see, we got the Six of Pentacles on top of the Six of Pentacles. That was an imbalance. Someone here was working more on another connection, not this connection. Tell me about the Five of Pentacles and the Fool, Aries energy. Yes, yeah, someone here just took off. Someone here just took off. Four of Pentacles under the deck. They just, they just withdrew. So again, guys, you place yourself where it resonates. You could be the person that's getting left behind, that's now finding out that your person actually left you to go be with somebody else you could be awakening to this and you need healing i still feel like there's going to be a sense of anger before the healing like there's there's a a, a a scale of like grieving and i feel like for whoever i'm speaking for it is going to be a sense of anger before this this healing needs to take place tell me about the three of wands we've got the queen of swords aquarius gemini libra energy so i feel like you may end up finding out about this empress or guys if you are the empress in the story someone may be finding out um in a very i want to say heartless type of way okay in a very heartless type of way i just feel that you know somebody here may have been you know inquiring about where the other person is and with that queen of swords i feel like somebody relayed the information in a very cutting sharp truthful way like somebody really just kind of said it in a very digging way tell me about this queen of swords um, the Empress. Yes, someone here told the truth about this Empress, but in a very not so sweet type of way. Okay, Aries, Taurus, Libra, Fancy. We have the Empress here twice. So someone here found out the truth about this Empress. Seven of Wands. Someone here may be realizing that they were pushed away for this Empress, Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. Someone here is dating an Empress. Tell me about the Five of Swords, the Nine of Wands. Yes, yeah, someone here was defeated. They were defeated, blocked, pushed away. This Emperor, Aries, Taurus energy. So this Emperor found their Empress. So guys, again, you place yourself where it resonates okay um you know i i don't know if you were the third party and this emperor's coming towards you but someone here is leaving somebody out on the cold like leaving somebody for dead to go towards this empress tell me about the temperance card so we've got the magician virgo gemini energy King of Wands, Leo Sagittarius energy. Okay, so this tells me that there's going to be a little bit of a fight here. There's going to be, someone here is going to come in with the Magician. They're going to try. They're going to try because that King of Wands is a representation of wanting to win. Okay, so I feel like when somebody here finds out about this Empress, someone is going to come in with optimism. Okay, someone's going to reach out to their person and be like, you know, try to use love, try to use passion, try to use money, try to use a strategy with that Magician card, Virgo, Gemini energy. Someone here is going to come in and try to make peace in this situation. Tell me about the Eight of Cups justice card libra energy but the scales are too imbalanced here three of cups i feel like the the third party is winning here tell me about the six of wands we've got the lovers card yes yeah, someone here has made a decision someone here has made a decision gemini energy um seven of pentacles i feel like someone here is really upset because their pride was hurt and i feel like with the seven of pentacles this person is looking back at past mistakes and now they see all the red flags with this knight of wands that this person was maybe never even truly committed okay um four of swords like i said it's going to knock you off your you knock your socks off it it is gonna you know it is going to finding about this finding out about this new love it's gonna hurt it's gonna take you down for a minute okay um or it's gonna take this person down for a minute page of wands so this is news coming in this is finding out about this news this is finding out the truth with the ace of swords so it's gonna someone's gonna be knocked off for a minute here but see now we have it coming in. Jealousy, fighting, strife, anger. So I, I knew I felt it somewhere. I'm surprised we don't we haven't seen the devil yet. Um, the high priestess, Cancer Piscean energy. Someone's intuition is telling them to stand up and fight. 
Yeah, someone's intuition is telling them to stand up and fight. So this person um, may feel intimidated initially by this empress, but then they're going to come back in and fight, okay? So here we have decrease and we have deserving. So somebody here is leaving someone behind to go towards a situation that they feel that they deserve, okay? Now here we've got kindred partnership and the loving man. So that's the empress, the, em the emperor, the empress. The emperor and the empress is divine feminine, divine masculine. So this person is going towards a soulmate, going towards somebody that they love, going towards, you know, this beautiful sunshine of a relationship here. But the person that's being left behind isn't going to deal with that so easily. So see, we've got the four of cups here. Somebody is sad. Somebody is upset. Somebody's feeling rejected. The seven of pentacles. Somebody here may be nostalgic, thinking about memories. But <laughs> but then they're coming in like a wrecking ball for reconciliation man you know what i'm saying somebody is coming in like hard for a second chance somebody is coming in hard for a second chance they're going to come in fighting for a second chance with their person this person is not going to let go so easily they're gonna they're gonna be you know they're gonna be knocked off for a minute um you know maybe in bed for a couple days and then they're gonna stand up and try to fight for this connection they're going to stand up and try to fight for this connection. So let's see, um, you know, let's see what's going to happen here. You know, we'll find out what's going on here with this empress. We'll find out what's going on here with the emperor. And um, whoever is being left behind is coming in here as the king of wands. So we're going to do a reading on this empress, this emperor, and the king of wands here. Okay, um, so we'll see what the outcome is for all three situations. We'll see what this emperor's intentions and true feelings are. Um, let's see what's going on. So the link for the extended will be in the description box below and it will be in the comment section below. I love you guys. Be safe. Bye.